Hello, my name is Jack Hassett from the Limerick Institute of Technology and today I'm going to talk to you about the force of gravity. First, let's ask what is a force? A force is a push or a pull acting upon an object due to its interaction with another object. For example, pushing a door an example of force is pushing open a door. In order to open the door, you must apply a force. There are many different types of force. Forces make things move, move faster, move slower, change direction, and change shape. Forces are not all the same. Some are large and some are small. Gravity is a force, and we're going to think about what it does. Gravity is a force that pulls objects towards each other. We often take gravity for granted, but it is the Earth's gravity which keeps us from floating off into space. To understand gravity, there are some other ideas we need to be aware of. Gravity is the interaction between two objects that have mass. Mass is the amount of matter in an object. For example, if regardless of how often I fold a piece of paper, it would still have the same mass. An object's mass determines how much force is needed to move or speed up or slow down the object. For example, the larger an object, the more force is needed in order to get the object to move. Weight is the measure of gravity acting upon an object. Sometimes we confuse weight and mass. This is because we weigh an object in order to get its mass. However, they are not the same. How much something weighs? depends on how strongly the force of gravity is acting upon it. If you know the mass of something, the weight can be found by multiplying the mass by the local gravitational force. The key word here is local. The calculation of gravitational force only works on the surface of the Earth. Only on the surface of the Earth, the force of gravity is measured at 9.8 newtons per kilogram. The unit of weight is the newton, the same as any other force. If you throw a ball into the air, it will return to the ground. Why? The Earth has an invisible pulling power called gravity, and this is not the only place that has this. Everything in the universe, stars, planets, moons, and even you, have gravity. Gravity is the force of attraction between each object. Gravity is an attractive force. In other words, it makes objects move towards each other. The larger an object, the larger its gravitational pull. That is why, if we drop a hammer on the surface of the moon, it would fall more slowly than it does on Earth. That is because the moon is smaller and therefore has a smaller gravitational pull. Note how the hammer and the feather hit the surface at the same time. Although the Earth has a larger gravitational pull than that of the Moon, we still feel the effects of the Moon's gravitational pull here on Earth, especially in the rise and fall of the oceans and the tides. It is gravity which keeps us down on the surface of the Earth and keeps the planets orbiting around the Sun. In conclusion, gravity is a force of attraction between any two objects that have mass, and weight is the force of gravity acting upon an object. So, how does gravity work? There are two ideas you need to be aware of. 
these ideas at work throughout the universe. 1. The more mass is an object, the greater its gravitational pull. 2. The closer two objects are together, the greater the gravitational attraction between them is. Therefore, putting these ideas together, the more massive two objects are, and the closer they are together, the greater the gravitational pull between them. Thank you for listening and watching. Now please check out the other resources on the project portal.